Every once in a while, I cave in and start to use a tool that I've never used before for no good reason uh, other than stubbornness, I think, and discover, oh my gosh, that is an awesome tool. This is the case today as we take a look at Snagit on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now, I'm somewhat chagrined at the fact it has taken me this long to share Snagit with you from the folks at TechSmith. Now, Snagit is a screen capture tool, and I guess it's the fact that screen capture tools are just kind of pedestrian, aren't they? They allow us to capture the screen and to mark them up and uh, create a simple graphic, but they really aren't that exciting. But diving into Snagit, as I have over the past few months, has opened my eyes because Snagit is from the people at TechSmith. TechSmith make Camtasia a great screencasting tool. You can create videos like the one that you're watching right now using Camtasia. And the fact that TechSmith has both Camtasia and Snagit, they've also built an entire cloud-based ecosystem around screen capture and sharing. And it's those additional capabilities that are really the special sauce that make a tool like Snagit so much more than a simple screencasting tool. I think I should show you. Now, Snagit is a tool that is installs in both Windows and Mac, so it's ubiquitous. You can use it on either. It installs as a system resource, and here I have it installed in my Mac. Now, when you open it up, you get a, an image, an idea right away of the different capabilities. For example, we can capture video with it, we can capture images, and of course, we can capture the screen. So you can set it up with different preset capture uh, uh, kind of macros to capture photos, images. I've got it set up to capture a video message. You can have it extract the text from a screen should you choose to. You can have it panoramic scroll, so you can scroll, say on a web page that has much content that you wanna scroll up or down, you can do kind of panoramic scrolling like that. So it does far more than just simple grab an image off the screen. Let me just do one. Let's, let's add a photograph right now, because I'm gonna need a photograph for this video. I, this is how I create the thumbnail images now for our for our different videos is I use Snagit and I because on our thumbnail images we want energetic poses. So I need an energetic pose for and we'll use this thumbnail in this video so you can see it. Uh, now when I click on capture image it counts me down and let me come up with a really good scene. Okay. And there we have it. Snag it. Ah, man. Okay, well, I said I was going to use it. We're going to use it. <laughs> this will make me look a little bit better. But here we see that we've also got an awful lot of graphic editing tools built in. So we can add our own text, arrows, etc. I'll show you more on that in a few moments. So now we can save this image locally, or we can save it to the different uh, online services such as Dropbox or to screencast.com, which is that cloud-based service that I was talking to you about that's a part of TechSmith's ecosystem. Uh, but I'm just gonna save it here locally on my own computer right now uh, because I wanna show you the sharing using video. And that's the next thing that I wanna show you how it works. And that is the ability to capture video and screens combined within Snagit. Now, Snagit is not a full-fledged screencasting tool. You can't do camera moves, et cetera. You can only uh, display one thing at a time, either the screen or the camera, but you can actively switch back and forth, which creates some really intriguing opportunities. For example, we on our uh, uh, here at Dottotech, when somebody becomes one of our new patrons, when they sign up as a patron, what I'd like to do is I like to drop them a personal message. So rather than just write them a note, I like to send them a video to say thank you. So here we've got Gabby, who I just received an email from that she has become, or he has become a sponsor of Dottotech at Patreon. So here's what we do each time. I'll show you, it's, it's a very cool process. I go under Snagit and I say, I want to capture a video message. And so I have this set kind of as a template. I click capture and then it asks me what area I want to capture. I select this area here. Now, what it's gonna do is, because of the way it's set up, it's gonna actually record my video camera, the same camera you're looking at, but I can switch to the screen capture view here as well. So let me show you how I capture, how I create a message each time, is I click on the record button here, and it'll count me down, and then I'll record the message. Three, two, one. Hi Gabby, I just wanted to drop you a personal note to let you know how much we appreciate you supporting us here at Dottotech. Take a look at the email I received. 
Can you imagine how great it is to receive that email in my inbox in the morning? I just wanted to tell you what it means to us. I'm just going to stop this now. Now, of course, I would leave a little more elaborate in a message where I actually sending that to Gabby. But now what it's done is it's captured that video along with switching through to be able to show the screen as well. So let's just watch it play back. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. I, just I just wanted, wanted to, drop to drop you a personal, personal note to let you know how much we appreciate you supporting us here at Dotto Tech. Take a look at the email I received. Can you okay, now here's where the magic happens. I click finish here and it takes this video and it compresses it. So rather than having to save this video on my own computer and then share it in some other way, it's storing it on screencast.com, uh, which is basically a video service at that point or a video host, much like YouTube or Vimeo or any other online host. Once it's completed this process here of compressing it and uploading it to screencast.com, it will copy a share link into my clipboard that I can use in my email that I send to thank Gabby. Watch, it's just about to finish here and I'll see a notification come up in notifications. There it is, that a link has been sent uh, has been stored in my clipboard that will uh, to this video. So let's just jump into Chrome and have a look at that what will happen when somebody clicks on that link is they will then go to screencast.com and it will be able, they will be able to watch the video Hi, Gabby. stream through. I just wanted to drop you a personal note. note. So you can share video this way, automatically creating, you don't have to upload it to Vimeo or upload it to YouTube and make it private and all those sorts of things and then create a sharing link in order to send emails to somebody or to send messages to somebody in video. You can create them all using Snagit and share them in this exact way. To me, this is, it's been a game changer as far as relationship building, showing appreciation for our community and for making me a far more effective communicator. Now, before we leave Snagit, I should show you as well, I guess, just the regular old capture tool because I'll show you some of the graphics. So often you're not going to be creating anything quite as fancy as what I just did. Instead, you just want to capture something on a screen and let somebody in your team know that you want some changes to that screen. So here we have our website. And as I'm looking at it, I realize if we take a look at our website here, that most of my thumbnails uh, are nice and 3D, but the ones for our vlog are pretty flat. And I was thinking, oh, I should mention this to Liz. Maybe we can 3D these up a bit to make this, to make these thumbnails look a little bit better. So I go into Snagit now, and instead of choosing the uh, video message with screen or taking the photo, I'm gonna say, just grab an image. When I click on grab image, it then gives me the marquee and allows me to select the range that I want. Of course, I could also capture a full screen image. Once I've captured that, it brings it into the graphics editor and it allows me to do things like adding different arrows, adding text. Now you could actually use this, they've got enough text effects and stuff that you could actually use this to create social media posts. You could actually, as you see, it, you know, it adds drop shadowing or outlines and all of those sorts of things. So you've got a lot of capabilities here within the graphics editor to be able to do not Photoshop quality work, but you can dress up a graphic pretty darn well using the tools that are built into Snagit. This is my favorite one. I got to show you just because I, I love this tool. It's a step tool uh, for doing illustrative graphics, especially when you're doing step by step of a process. Watch what happens. You choose that and you choose the type of step icon you want to drop. And wherever things are happening, you can go one, two, three, and you see it sets the little it sets the little counters. Or actually, I like this one even better. Look at this purple one. It'll be four five and six. So you see how you can set, uh, if you're doing infographics or tutorials or training graphics, uh, how quick you can create a far, far more clarity in your graphics using some of these tools all built in to, to snag it. It's, as I say, it's a, a tool that uh, is just growing on me uh, in leaps and bounds. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, I do pay for Snagit, uh, but I am also an affiliate now for Snagit. So if you click on the link that we provide below, you are clicking on our affiliate link, which I say thank you very much for. I appreciate it. I know that you'll like it as much as I like it. Snagit has really won me over. I love reading your comments and suggestions, so please post below. I do read every single one. If you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends or colleagues who may find it useful. Now make sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell. And if you have time, check out some of our other videos right over there. 
Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.